Members of the Pitts Chapel United Methodist Church are speaking out after a swastika was spray painted on their building. Color 10's Parker Paget is live at the church with their response tonight. Yeah, Heather, Steve, I'm standing right here in front of the area where this was. It's since been removed. We talked to the Reverend here. She has a simple message. They're going to stay put and they will not be intimidated. We are Pitch Chapel and we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Churchgoers at Pitts Chapel United Methodist Church were shocked last week when they found a swastika spray painted on the side of their building. The church has deep historical connections to the African American community dating back over hundreds of years. Pitts Chapel is the longest continuously worshiping historically black African American congregation in Springfield, Missouri. In 1847, a group of enslaved Africans started this church. Reverend Tracy Wolf says she felt several emotions when she first heard the news. <sighs> anger. Probably a mixture of anger and some fear, but mostly anger. You know, that symbol, any place, is a symbol of terror. After the initial discovery, the Springfield Parks Board cleaned the side of the building, but the act itself is still felt. I want to be clear that this is not simply tagging. This is not graffiti. This is not vandalism. This was a hate crime and it is unacceptable. Springfield NAACP President Kai Sutton says acts like this are nothing new in Springfield. Whoever is causing this, we hope you know as a community, we're going to continue to bounce back and we're going to continue to stand united. Just a day after Springfield Green County Health announced they were prioritizing mental health for those in the area, Sutton says dealing with incidents like this can take a mental toll. Uh, it's, it's extremely stressful. It's very painful. It does have a toll on your mental health. I mean, it consumes you because you just keep thinking about it. Wolf and Sutton say incidents like this are not welcomed in the area. They plan on calling them out every time they occur. Springfield police say they're continuing to investigate this as a hate crime. Reporting live in Springfield, Parker Paget, Ozarks First.